expert in digestion. I wanted to ask you, Nina, a couple mm -hmm. of questions here about digestive enzymes. So how can a digestive enzyme supplement help resolve these digestive problems that are so prevalent in our society? Mm -hmm. And uh, what would be a good digestive enzyme product? Well, you know that ideally digestion is very efficient. Um, but as we have discussed, our habits have made it much less so. And so the, um, the application or the use of a supplement has become um, almost necessary in our society. And they have been around for years, really, but few people have taken advantage of them. The first digestive enzyme products were um, composed of animal enzymes, usually the pancreatic, straight pancreas tissue mm -hmm. from either um, a pig or a cow. Okay. And those were the first products. Now really? the, pro the those problem the with one? those, uh-huh, okay. and they have been used for years um, and are still used a lot in treating and used by uh, cystic fibrosis patients and those okay. who have severe problems with their pancreas and the release of pancreatic enzymes. The problem with those products has been that they are not gastric stable. It's very difficult in taking one of those for it to survive the acidity of okay. the stomach when taken with food. And that has always been a problem with them, but they are still used a lot. And then there are other enzyme products that are either um, made from plant sources, such as bromelain papain from pineapple and mm -hmm. from papaya, tropical fruits. And then there are the products that are uh, sourced from microbial organisms, bacteria, yeast, fungi, from mm -hmm. safe sources of those. And so we have a, a, a number of different forms of enzyme supplements okay. that are available out there. Um, what to look for in a supplement is one that provides a lot of different types of enzymatic activity. Because sometimes you may have a problem in digestion but not really know where the problem is occurring. Or am I missing one enzyme or is the whole system mm -hmm. messed up? And it could, be, it could be just that there's one enzyme that isn't functioning correctly, or it could be that everything's just a little bit out of whack. So you're saying you might not be digesting your starch properly. Right, right, or a, or, or a protein or something, okay. right. Um, and so what you would need to look for is a product that provides a lot of different activity. And when I say activity, that, that's very important because enzymes are substances that the way they function is based upon the activity that they have, whether they have the ability to break down something. Otherwise, they're just proteins. Oh. And so if, if I could take an enzyme supplement that has, say, 500 milligrams of enzymes in it, but if there is no activity associated with those enzymes, if they're not active, then I might as well be taking a half a gram of protein. I have no more functioning, no more aid to my system than that. So what you want to look for is a supplement that shows activity, that shows that the, the measurement for that enzyme is in an activity. And usually there's a, um, an organization, the Food Chemical Codex, which is an international organization that um, provides guidance on assays that are used to determine enzyme activity. So that's a good guidance method to look for, is look for something that shows that the enzymes are measured in FCC units, or if it's an animal sourced enzyme, in USP units. So it's, we're talking about the milligrams when we're talking about the activity. Right, well, milligrams is simply the weight. Mm -hmm. And so the weight really says nothing about it. Okay. The, the activity, the FCC units, such as HUTs, um, AGUs, LUs, CUs, look for something like that on a microbial enzyme. Um, or look for, say, PUs or MCUs for a bromelain papain 
and then look for USPs for an animal enzyme product. And that would all be on the label of the product? Yes, it should be. And then look for one that has a lot of different types of enzymatic activity because, as I said earlier, you don't know what you might be lacking in your system as far as the complete breakdown right. of those foods that you consume. Okay, well, thank you very much, Nina. Thank you.